everyone, it's Clay. I've had a really great year fishing. This is my third year to pursue hybrids. And uh, this year has come together so much better than the other years, partly because I've eliminated a lot of water and I figured out kind of the pattern for my home lake uh, throughout the year. Uh, but ever since winter, I started using side imaging to find hybrids. You'll see my winter uh, video, you know, how to locate and catch winter hybrids and stripers. Uh, I talk a lot about side imaging and how you use side imaging to find this big, hard return that's kind of isolated from everything. Uh, and that's usually a hybrid. And uh, it's almost always correct, uh, if not always correct. So I started to use that throughout the spring and throughout the summer, and I gotta tell you, I've had a way better uh, year this year thanks to that. Uh, originally, I was really relying on 2D sonar and what the arc looked like uh, to try to identify what fish species I was looking at. And uh, there's some truth to that, but there's a better way. And uh, I wanna show you the better way. What I've been using is 2D sonar on about 30 to 40 percent of my screen and the other part of my screen the majority of my screen will be side imaging with a range of about 60 to 80 feet even no matter how deep of water i am i'm not trying to look 100 200 feet left and right i'm just trying to look 60 to 80 feet left and right uh, and i'm trying to identify hybrids as big hard returns and particularly i want to see a dozen of them on my screen or more uh, before i stop and fish that has helped put way more fish in my boat. Uh, I'm gonna show you a few examples uh, and I'm gonna take the time to circle them and show you this is the hybrids. This is what's attractive about this screenshot and made me fish this area. Uh, and then I'm gonna show you several screenshots where I don't identify the fish once I show you what I'm looking for initially in the first few slides. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Do not fish until you see these, uh, these big hybrids on your sonar. Otherwise you're wasting time and you're guessing and it becomes a luck game rather than a skill game. Uh, if you start being patient and using your uh, fish finder to its full capability, you're gonna put way more fish in your boat. You're gonna have trips of a lifetime, not just every once in a while, but almost every time you go out and go fishing. I hope this helps. Go catch you some fish and just remember to always respect the fish, let the big ones go. Uh, don't take more than you're planning on eating. One reason I like to do use the 2D sonar uh, paired with the side imaging is a lot of times I'll find hybrids that are hugging the bottom of the lake. And side imaging honestly is not very good at finding fish that are absolutely hugging the bottom of the lake. Uh, their sonar doesn't show, their shadow doesn't show up very well. Uh, but with 2D sonar, I'll see a bunch of bumps on the bottom of the lake that otherwise I wouldn't have seen on side imaging or it's very easy to overlook it. Uh, even when they're off, you know, 40, 50 feet to your left and right, they just typically don't show up if they're absolutely bottom hugging, at least on my helix unit. Uh, but if they're off just a few inches or a foot or two, all the better. I'll see a sonar shadow uh, and that'll really lead me to the fish. Uh, but usually if those fish are suspended, which they like to do uh, a lot of times, uh, you'll see them very easily on side imaging. And to me, side imaging is more helpful than even 2D sonar and, and way more accurate in my opinion, or at least has helped me interpret it uh, a lot more accurately. This is an excellent screenshot of what hybrids look like on side imaging. If you look at the 2D sonar, it's very cluttered. There's a lot of, uh, obviously a lot of activity going on, but with the help of side imaging, I was easily able to identify a school of probably a couple dozen hybrids suspended, as you see circled in red. Uh, if you look a little bit closer on that same side that the red circle is on, you'll see a bunch of hybrids hugging the bottom of the lake right where the dark water column meets the ground. You'll see a bunch of dots, uh, and that's an, a good example of those hybrids that are bottom hugging. You'll see several screenshots here in a minute uh, of more hybrids bottom hugging, and uh, 2D sonar really helps to pick those fish up. Uh, but when they're suspended like this, it's very easy to identify them thanks to side imaging. Here is a screenshot of the, the hybrids bottom hugging. And as you see on the arrow where it's pointing on the 2D sonar, those fish are bottom hugging, very easy to identify on 2D sonar. Uh, and it looks a lot easier to identify thanks to that white line feature being on. Uh, you can see the bottom of the lake being painted white uh, and then those hybrids sitting on the bottom. If you look at the side imaging, you'll see that it's very easy to overlook those hybrids, even though that was a big school of hybrids. It's just uh, several dots that are hugging that uh, line 
uh, where the water column meets the, the ground on side imaging, and it's very easy to overlook it, uh, but, side, but 2D sonar really helped to, to see those fish. All right, and here's the last screenshot I'll talk about. You'll see several hybrids that are circled in red. And I just wanted to point out there's a bunch of shad on the left-hand side circled in orange. Uh, this would have been pretty easy to identify these hybrids based on the 2D sonar uh, signatures that you see there. Uh, big arc, uh, just nice big bold return. That's pretty obvious to me that that's a hybrid, but uh, but I really get confident when I see that on side imaging. That just really tells me there's hybrids in the area, uh, and even more so, there's probably a couple dozen of them in the, the side imaging screenshot. Uh, so that's a very good fishable area. What I would do is drop a waypoint somewhere where those red circles are uh, and then tell my Tarova trolling motor to take me to that area and uh, immediately present live shad or cast around, whatever your preference is. Uh, I typically like to live shad fish. Just uh, It's a very easy way of putting fish in the boat. Here's an excellent example of uh, 2D sonar, not showing very much, but uh, side imaging, it's very clear to identify there's a bunch of hybrids there on the right-hand side of the boat. That's a very good fishable area. Uh, that was in, the, the water was 60 degrees, that's sometime in spring as the water's warming. And uh, one thing I want to talk about too is the chart settings. Uh, I won't get into a lot of nitty-gritty details, but it just depends, you know, your contrast, your enhance. All that depends on your water clarity and just so many different factors. That's just something to play with. Uh, but I like to keep my chart speed around 8, regardless of how fast I'm going. Uh, I have found whenever I was trying to do those uh, videos where I was filming catfish on jug lines, I would try to film a 30 or 40 pound fish on a jug line. And, uh, and I've learned that the fish just show up a lot clearer, in my opinion, when I'm the chart speeds around eight to even 10, uh, and I drive about two to three miles per hour. There's a lot of interpretation. Whenever you're driving, if you're driving five or six miles per hour, these hybrids are gonna show up less significant uh, than if you're driving two or three miles per hour. Uh, so one thing, I always try to drive about the same speed, which is two to four miles per hour, uh, really no faster than five miles per hour. Otherwise the hybrids, you might be in a big school of hybrids and they just show up as little bitty dots. Uh, on side imaging, so just keep that in mind. The faster you go, there's so many variables to how to get these fish to show up.